It is significantly colder than I thought it would be out here. Whew, let's get some warm up throws in though. That'll do. So when pros come out with a new putter and it's like a designed putter, it's always interesting to me because whenever you make other discs, you're mainly modeling off of what's already out there. There's not a whole lot of innovation in terms of brand new molds, brand new discs, but whenever you go to a putter, it's very, people are very particular about how a putter fits in your hand and the confidence it gives you on the green. It is like one of the most important things in your bag to get right for professionals. And unlike other disc categories for throwing more, as long as you can use that stability and throw the disc properly, like you can use whatever disc you want. So like Simon can come out with whatever mid-range, fairway or dr distance driver he wants. And as long as you can use the stability, like you can use that disc and be perfectly fine. Putters, they have to fit your game specifically and your confidence and your feel preferences in your hand. So it's always interesting to me to see kind of what other pros want to throw. So now that the sun's out and Simon came out with his new Pixel, these things are very interesting to me and I've been very curious to see what he would take as a putter. Cause with this mania, he was always like back and forth between putters. So having a designed putter for him, it's, uh, it's really interesting to see like, exactly what he prefers for the putting. That'll do. See if I can replicate that with the soft. Nah, I missed it, but we're, we're good. We're good, skip up there. That was, that was missed. And while we're at it, we're gonna throw a new Envies. Both of these are on the site right now. If you wanna go check them out, link's in the description. Ah, so tricky to keep it low, but always so get the distance with a putter. Goodness, this one's still like 40, 45 out. Totally thought I was closer than this. Get it? Oh! <laughs> and since feel of the putter is probably the most important thing you can have. That's kind of what I want to go over first because this thing, it's shaped very, like it's rounded up top. It's not a bunch of dome, but it's actually pretty deep. I would almost describe it like a slightly rounded off AVR. So if you put it next to an AVR, the AVR I would say is like a touch deeper, but this is very similarly shaped. You just got a little bit of a micro bead on the end. But when you look at the like shoulder here, the bottom of the wing, I wanna say that that's a little bit more rounded off than the AVR. Hopefully it's uh, focused correctly because I'm a little farther from my screen. It's a little bit more rounded off, but you've got a tiny little micro bead here. So if you're not into micro beads, actually the gyro axiom MVP stuff is actually not, not gonna be for you. That's one thing I didn't know until until Simon's video with Eagle is that because of the overmolding process, like it makes sense, they have to have a little bit of the undermold coming out here for it to grab onto. So um, all of their putters are gonna have at least a micro bead um, and that's what you get here. So when you have it in your hand, like it feels pretty nice for throwing backhand, but you can definitely feel the depth of it when you're holding it for putting. It's more of that like lofty, glidey type of putter feel in your hand, if that makes sense. Almost like a dagger would feel or the AVR. I don't want to say it's as deep as the new P2s, but it's, no, nah, I don't think it's as deep as the new P2s. I didn't bring one out with me, but I don't think it's that deep. A nice straight 225. Let's go firm first. Put a little more hyzer on this one. It's uh, soft. Oh, the hill did not let it do it, Eagle Envy. I think it's nice and stable. Nice and stable. Oh, almost. And that's too high. Nice. Now after watching Simon's video about the Pixel with Eagle, he asked Eagle if he was gonna putt with the Pixel and Eagle mentioned how it was too deep for his preferences. 
and he's putting with the Nomad instead. At least that's what he's starting with. And I would say, yeah, the Nomad is definitely shallower than the Pixel. I would put the Nomad more in like the medium category of shallowness, maybe on the sh shallower side of medium, if that makes sense, but I wouldn't call this necessarily shallow. But the shape of them are actually pretty different. Like the Nomad here, let's see if I can get a, like the Nomad here, you've got the shoulder, it sits a little bit higher than the Pixel would, and it's just a little bit more, it comes up more before it comes around than the Pixel. The Pixel, usually, it, it kind of curves in a lot earlier and it doesn't have as aggressive of a line here. I'd also say this has a little bit more of a bead. Yeah, all of that points to this being a little bit more stable and I would, now that we're getting into the flights, I would say that's true, but it's very, very difficult to tell. Like when throwing them side by side, like it's it's hard to tell throwing them one after the other, but I'm getting a tendency that this one, it just doesn't turn quite as much when this gives like a touch of turn out of the hand when you're like driving with them. But I would put the differences pretty close and accurate to the flight numbers. So like the flight numbers on the Nomad are 2401 and the Pixel you've got 2401. 0.5 so I would say that's pretty accurate I would almost put like a the, the pixel has a touch of turn I would say out of the hand but it's 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 still pretty dead straight and fairly stable if you throw it clean so and we got a nice little headwind breeze to kind of show you it's like left to right headwind I'd say it's like seven mile per hour winds as is only 215 uphill Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Pixel. Yeah, that one just doesn't finish as much. It, it, it feels like it finishes more straight and down when the, the Nomad more kind of does that to it. That makes sense. And we got the soft one. Oh, that was awful. <laughs> that was terrible. Now, when comparing the flights of the Pixel and the AVR, those two are, they are nearly identical. Now the AVR might turn a touch more than the Pixel, but it is negligible in my opinion. They are very, very close and identical in flight. The AVR might glide a little bit more because I think it's a touch deeper, but I really think like that's, that's the comparison here. Like the Pixel, it's basically an overmolded, slight micro-beaded AVR. But in other news, these, uh, these new Electron Soft Pixels, they got a new plastic for the Electron Soft. So it's a lot softer than previous runs of them. I think they said that people were complaining that the Soft was no different than just the normal Electron. So they actually got a new blend and it's actually softer now. It's definitely firmer on the edges just because of the gyro, I believe. Just the, the overmold technology makes it a little stiffer on the edges, but it's still, a lot softer even on the rim than the firm ones are, even a little bit more so than the Electron. So it just made it a little bit more gap between the Electron and the Electron Soft. So I've got all three types of plastics of these at the site if you're interested. I didn't notice a whole lot of stability differences between the Soft and the Firm that I've been throwing, that purple one. But if I had to guess, like if you twist my arm and said, what is the difference between these flight-wise? I would say like the Soft might be a touch more stable, but um, negligible. All right, let's see if I can finish this off with some decent putting. That felt awful, but it went in. Ah, too much. There we go, I should put with the Nomads. But yeah, so who is this for? I would say if you have deeper hands, I would definitely give this a try. Like if you like an AVR, but it's like, a little bit, maybe a touch too deep, or if you're wanting a micro bead, but the beads on like the JK AVR, or the Yeti AVR, or the KC AVR are too much. Or if you just like the gyro, give the Pixel a try. It's very straight, nice and stable. It's just, it's really deep. So like for me, for example, I tried to like it because it feels so good for throwing and it's just so straight. But for putting, I just can't do it. It's a little bit too deep for me, but I mean, if, 
you're a big Simon fan, then that might be just reason enough to pick one up. So I'll have links to these in the description as along with the Envy and um, some of these other putters that I threw in this. And if you're wanting to know how this compares to like Paul's signature putter, I got another video coming up with that comparison. So I'll post that here. But thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.